joyful autoimmune diseases can revolutionize our lives if it pleases whoa wait a minute hello to everybody and hello to dr martin archer i know that you're a space physicist but i'm sorry to say that i'll be answering your question in terms of medicine however i also know that you were a dj on kiss fm so i've included a summary rap for you at the end in my opinion, I think that the answer to your question is the cure for autoimmune diseases. Before we answer the question what small area of current research can revolutionise our lives in the future and why, we need to understand what an autoimmune disease is and what treatments already in place. An autoimmune disease is a disease in which the body produces antibodies that attacks its own tissues. There are at least 80 types of autoimmune diseases, with the ones most commonly known are rheumatoid arthritis and lupus, and these diseases affect around 1 in 5 Americans. There are available treatments to reduce the effect of symptoms of autoimmune diseases. From research published in 2011, one can reduce the impact of severe symptoms via the suppression of T helper 17 cells, however this leads you to being more susceptible to viral infections. Other treatments include painkillers or NSAIDs, which help to reduce stiffness and swelling. However, recently scientists have discovered that by inhibiting a principal protein called TLR8, one can stop the body from beginning to attack its own tissues. Now we get onto the question, what small area of current research can revolutionise our lives in the future and why? In this small area of research, there are three main ways in which the cure for autoimmune diseases can be found. Well, the first main reason is that all autoimmune diseases are similar. They are all essentially caused by systematic inflammation. From research carried out on peripheral blood lymphocytes, scientists saw that autoimmune diseases did have a similar gene profile, but they did not have the exact same genetic pattern, as each disease is specific. This suggests that autoimmune diseases are quite similar, but not the same. Therefore, if a cure is found, e.g. by inhibition of the TLR8 protein, it can easily be applied to other similar diseases. Consequently, this can lead to a positive chain reaction of cures, and this can therefore revolutionise our lives in the future by eradication of autoimmunity. The second major reason is that reaching the cure for autoimmune diseases can lead to the cure for allergies. Another way to find the cure for autoimmune diseases is that if self-antigens are identified, one can apply these self-antigens in such a way that inhibits rather than stimulates autoimmune responses. 50 million people suffer from allergies in America, i.e. 30% of adults and 40% of children. Therefore, antigen-specific immunotherapy can be used to reduce immune reactivity to allergens, and so scientists can specifically modify antigen SIT therapy to treat and possibly cure allergies in the future. This is because research has confirmed that this therapy has increased the number of antigen-specific Treg cells instead of antigen-specific pathogenic T-cells. Consequently, research into the cure for autoimmune diseases can lead to scientists discovering the cure for allergies. This small area of current research can revolutionise our lives as humans will no longer have allergies to cats, pollen or nuts. The third and final reason is that finding the cure for autoimmune diseases can indirectly lead to our immune system becoming stronger and allow the effect of AIDS on the body to be weaker. Another way scientists are trying to find the cure for autoimmune diseases is by manipulating the IL-2 pathway which can enhance the immune response by multiplication of Treg cells. HIV specifically attacks and attaches to T-helper cells and so HIV causes AIDS by taking over these T-helper cells. Therefore, immune system has fewer lymphocytes so it will be weaker. However, by proliferation and strengthening of the remaining T-helper cells, the immune system can be stronger and so the effect of AIDS on the body is weaker. This helps to revolutionise our lives and medicine as finding the cure for autoimmune diseases can lead the way in fighting other different diseases. The cure for autoimmune diseases can revolutionize our lives if it pleases. There are at least 80 different disease types which affect 1 in 5 Americans. Crikes! What is included in available treatment? Painkillers and NSAIDs are decent, but the suppression of Th17 cells makes you more susceptible to infection. Well, scientists discovered the TLR protein that prevents T cells from attacking its own tissues I mean first reason is that diseases are all similar but they don't have the same genetic pattern that's sinister so if one cure is found this will be prolific influence are the cures for disease specific if self antigens are next to be identified one can prevent and stimulate responses bro that's right antigen specific immunotherapy can reduce immune reactivity to 
allergies. This can increase the number of T reg cells rather than the increased number of pathogenic T cells. Therefore, finding the cure for autoimmune diseases can help to find the cure for allergic diseases. Finally, the cure can make the system stronger, reducing effective aids that will be weaker. By manipulating the IL-2 pathway leads to proliferation of t reg cells. Yay, yay! Finding the cure is important. You see, yes, this will help us to fight all the main diseases. <laughs>